Sidewinders make it look easy, but watch other snakes, even from related species, try to move up a sandy slope and you get a different idea. No. No. Oh, now that's just embarrassing. Scientists from several institutions got together and did a series of experiments using sidewinders and a robot to figure out exactly how sidewinders do it on loose sand on a slope. What they found out is that there are two waves that run down a snake's body from head to tail as it moves. An up and down wave lifts parts of the snake's body while other sections of the body grip the sand. A side-to-side -side wave moves the snake along in the direction it wants to go. They tested the snakes on the flat and on 10 and 20 degree slopes, and they shook up the sand with air to keep it consistent for each trial. Snakes adjust to steeper slopes by keeping more of their body in contact with the sand. Then they tried out their ideas on a snake-like robot that was able to move like a sidewinder but couldn't get up a hill. They reprogrammed it using what they'd learned from the snakes, and the robot was successful. Two waves, simple enough, if you're a sidewinder.